Um, so my name is Magdalena and I'm a head chef at the restaurant and a few weeks back my 17 year old daughter wanted me to cook for her Halloween theme party and she wanted her so she wished for beef tatar and wanted the beef in a ghost shape kind of form and I thought about it and didn't know what to do first but then I came up with using um, cookie cutters. So I used them to do the shapes, which actually worked out pretty well. And then I talked um, to my friend Hannah about it. And yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> my name is Hannah and I'm a teacher in elementary school and I've got a six year old son. And the problem is that he doesn't like to eat um, dark bread that much. So um, I also used those cookie cutters to cut the bread in specific, specific forms and it worked pretty well and he um, wanted to eat the bread much more after I cut them. Yeah, and I used this technique then at my restaurant as well. Um, and actually the, um, the people eating there enjoyed it so I thought we would talk to our friend Selina uh, would you like to introduce yourself yeah I'm Selina I'm a marketing sales manager and I got a two-year-old boy and um, two weeks ago we went <laughs> on vacation to Turkey <laughs> yeah and two weeks ago um, I went to Turkey and I didn't have enough time to get some toys for my child so I came up with <laughs> to take the cookies. Yeah, I came up with the idea to take the um, some cookie cutters with me, and um, yeah, my child liked it very much because he could play in the sand with it. So he just stapled them one on the other, and there came up some. He came up with some pretty crazy shapes, but. It was really fun. So yeah, you can really use them universally, I think. And I came up with the idea, or we came up with the idea, to maybe create something for the children. And um, I got something on my mind, maybe like a suitcase or something like that, and some different shaped cookie cutters. And maybe that the children could put them on the right um, shape so it is like a toy for children and I thought about something like um, wait I'm just going to share my screen something like that maybe so just a box or a suitcase where they can put them in and yeah they maybe they should ah, thank them you them like because that. I was just gonna ask how it's supposed to look like yeah, yeah me too me too like that <laughs> something like that and colorful because i think children would like it very much and it's also very educational for them yeah as a teacher that's very important to me yeah exactly. so it would be plastic as well because i think it's important for children right so that it's not the metal kind of thing which is yeah. pretty sharp like yes. how the cookie cutters are and i think the nice thing is that it's like used like a toy for children but um like me i would use it in my kitchen for i don't know cookie dough or something like that and yeah, just how it's like traditionally planned <laughs> used for like in the kitchen you know yeah, like the target group, I would say are like moms or people who like to cook or to bake. And I would say that if we are going to keep the children on our minds, um, maybe we could yeah, create it like a toy or something like that. So that, that our target, our new target group are people who like cooking and baking, but also children. So... Yeah, I would think that is yeah, a I think that's, idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
Yeah, or else like um, as well as um, people who like to decorate, right? Because that was um, an idea we have also discussed, Hannah and I, for, um, mm -hmm. that you use them as Christmas ornaments mm -hmm. or as a decoration that you can put anywhere you want. Like it's a combination of like five different shapes, which... Mm -hmm. um, is one whole, um, I don't know, figure then. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but you can put them apart as well, so you can still use them as um, cookie cut cutters as well, if you want. And, yeah. and those would be in rose gold and in the metal sharp kind of form. Mm -hmm. uh, the cookie cutters actually are yeah so that we're not only focusing um, on the children as a target group but that we can also expand it to the adults who maybe don't like cooking or baking that much but who want to use it for decoration or hanging hanging it on the christmas tree and everything else that magda already said yeah i would say we could use the material closely sealed because it's like you can bake with it and it's no problem if you maybe if you want to put your egg in the shape then you can put the chromium steel into your pan so it's no big deal if you're using that so maybe that's the material we we could use for it and I think mm -hmm. yeah that's true <laughs> gold and silver something like that we could we could like um, think of a questionnaire um, questionnaire for a survey, so we can ask people what they would like the um, shapes or the material. Yeah, the shapes as well, but also the what you just said, like material. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry. I just... yeah. <laughs> and we could give out questionnaires um, before the, um, before selling the product and afterwards so that we ask them how um, they used it and if it was useful and, and what we could improve um, so our product um, is even better than before. Yeah, we could use the... Um or we can put the questionnaire uh, into the shipping box or something like that, maybe. That would be an mm -hmm. idea for us. If, they're, if they are going to um, buy it online. But about the markets, what would you think? I think about maybe the st or the stores which are going to sell our products what are you thinking about or which ones are you thinking about um i think toy stores for sure because as we said um we would also be selling um toys for children so yeah toy, toy stores for sure mm -hmm. yeah and also uh, like stores um, like Klamat or um, WMF, so where you can get cooking um, facilities and yeah, and maybe as well as yeah, like at the Christmas time or something like that, that we are going to sell it in supermarkets or the pool for decoration stuff. Yeah, true, true yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's, it's a product that's going to be on the global market because everybody in the world can use it and everybody in the world is baking and also decorating, especially um, during Christmas. So I think it's going to be a worldwide sold product. Yeah, there's a, there's a big point because the niche market is just like it's used for cookies but we got the product for children so like a toy and i would think that there are there would be more um 
competitors um, developing afterwards we are going to start that thing or selling that product so i would yeah be a nice and nice and i also think that's our group key that the the cookie cutters are used universally and not only for baking and cooking yeah 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 um, and to come um, um, back to the survey for um, quickly, um, we could also figure out the buying behavior by asking the right questions, I guess. So what people would prefer and who would buy what. So I think we should talk about the questions we want to put there um as, as well <clears throat> maybe some other time when it's a little bit more final but we should think about it for sure i guess